you know, that's that's my uh, my thing is the piano. That's my that's my gift. One of you know the gift that I have from above. Uh, I had a very severe nervous breakdown a couple of weeks after I graduated from the Juilliard School, which I think had a lot to do with the fact that um, I had gone to school with kind of a pie-in-the-sky attitude that I was going to become a concert pianist, and I uh, had a very, very bad uh, psychotic reaction at that time. And uh, so that started the whole history of, of taking medications. I wasn't sleeping well for about six months, like I had severe insomnia and um, I, I began to harbor certain delusions about certain people and things like that. And so, you know, about two weeks after I graduated, I ended up in LIJ, Long Island Jewish Hospital on, on, uh, in Queens, and I was hospitalized eight times in four years. Each time I have to sort of climb out of a little bit of a pit that I've made for myself, sometimes by not taking medications as, as, as I should have been taking them. If you have several hospitalizations within a period of two or three years, it tends to take a lot of energy and stamina away from you. Add that to the tranquilizing effect of the medication, and you really have, 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 a, have, a, have a thing where like my playing is just not normal or not natural anymore. It's sort of like I have to overcome the rigidity. I could play the piano, but I couldn't play it professionally. So I was unable to continue my, my work as a piano teacher. An opportunity came along to work as a medical biller for a friend of mine who was a dermatologist starting out his practice in Manhattan. I did that for about two or three years. Then all, all of a sudden just came this, this period of time where I couldn't work. I, I just I went to work one day and I said, I have to leave. I'm sorry, I just got up and left my chair. It, it had to do with my illness coming on again. And uh, after I got out of the hospital for the umpteenth time, you know, I wanted to really just kind of try to get back into the swing of things again, you know. This is the kind of thing that Goddard Riverside looks on with a very kind uh, eye, somebody who's had certain one. troubles, you know, with mental illness. Well, I, I, I got in touch with Lessa because I, I needed some uh, job coaching after I had been hospitalized uh, more than several times. Vested is New York State um, Vocational and Educational Services for Individuals with Disabilities, Vested, yeah. Vested finally put me in contact with Chloe at uh, Top Op. She became my employment specialist there. At Top Opportunities, you find the opposite of what, in, what, you, fi what you find elsewhere in, in, yes. the, in the job world. It is not a fast-paced place where you have to do typical multiple tasking and things like that, you know. We did some mailing projects, you know, and uh, some things like that. But within a period of time, I was, I was sent to the ACT team, which is at 107th Street. And the idea was to go there and to answer the telephones and also do uh, this one specific filing job. So this was like just my speed, you know, it was something that, it, like I said, it's the opposite of multitasking. I was always a little worried that I wasn't doing well enough. But um, Chloe was very reassuring to me and said, look, you just take this at your own pace, do what you can, we'll, and we'll just go along as, as we go along, you know. Um, to have the support of, of, uh, of a job coach or an employment specialist, you know, is, is um, it's really a luxury. One a penny, two, two a penny. Also, I teach. I have about, I have about 12 students now. Yeah. I also work at Dance Theater of Harlem. Uh, I play piano for uh, ballet exercise classes. I play for these ballet classes now. It's, it's, um, I'm giving lessons. Um, I, have, I have a lot of music in my life right now, and um, it, it feels pretty good. It feels pretty good, actually. I would like to say one thing. Um, uh, I got married last year. Uh, my wife and I were married in October of 2009, and 
My wife is a real, uh, a very great source of support to me. And uh, come to think of it, so is Goddard Riverside. <laughs>